Hey guys, Kat Kerr, and today we're altering a crate box that I found over at joggles.com and we're turning this into that. Now I knew right away that this box was going to hold some of my small disbound journal pages as well as some tags. And the box is beautiful just the way it is, but once I put it on the shelf, I felt like it needed a little bit of personality, and so I added some elements to one side. You can most definitely add elements to all the sides if that's what you choose, but because it was going to be sitting on a shelf and you only see one side, I decided to just do the front panel. Now I started by going through this Stamperia Mechanical Sea World paper pad. I found some focal elements as well as some papers for a background and I just cut out in a, a pile of things that caught my eye and then I picked which ones I wanted to use on the box. Now I decided to use this image of this woman as my focal and I decided to mount her onto a black cardstock so that she would stand out. Next, I cut out some random pieces from some chippies that I had on hand, and these are great. They're a great way to add texture and dimension to the piece, and you can easily apply paint to them and glue them onto the surface. Now, once I was happy with the chippies shape, I added some gold using metallic gilding polish and a cosmetic sponge. Next, I added some black ink to the paper background and glued it into place. Now this metal box, this box has a metal edge and so I just tucked that paper underneath the edge to make it look nice and finished and then I glued my chippies into place. Now I've always loved these art stones. They're a great way to add texture and dimension to any project. And so I simply added some more adhesive and then sprinkled on some of the art stones. You can see that I keep using that focal as a guide so I know exactly where I wanna place those art stones. Now once that adhesive was dry, I went back in and added a second layer of adhesive. The one thing I don't like is when those art stones fall off, so I wanna make sure that they're nice and secure. Now while that adhesive was drying, I went ahead and I added my title, as well as um, gluing on some metal gears in the background. And I keep testing that focal to make sure I know where I want to place those metal gears so I'm not covering them up once I uh, permanently attach my focal. Now once everything was completely dry, I went ahead and added some of that gold metallic gilding polish with my finger over all of the elements. And then I glued my focal into place. I did raise her up just a little bit by using some chipboard pieces um, to give her some dimension. Then I added these faux crystal stickers and I realized that she needed a gear on her head so I added a gear as well as a crystal and then finished off with some black splatters. Now because I cut out so many of those different elements from that paper pad, I wanted to show you what it would look like if I added some to the sides. But again, I just decided to do the front panel and I um, put it on the shelf, added my disbound journal pages and my tags and I absolutely loved the way it came out. For the complete list of materials used in this tutorial, see the description below. And for a large assortment of artsy goodies, make sure you check out joggles.com.